welcome to my channel, Abby Chase. Fun World! In our previous video, we learned how to add sounds from the Scratch Library. And guess what? In this video, we're going to learn how to record sounds, get surprise sounds, and we're also going to learn how to upload some music. It's going to be really fun, so let's get to it. Let us create a new project. You will have the scratch cat showing up as default sprite. Now let us go back to the sounds tab. This is where we can add different sounds for our project. You can see there is already a meow sound available by default for our cat. Now we saw in the last video how to add sounds the Scratch Sounds Library by clicking on the search button to add any sound available in the library. Today, let us look at the other options to add sounds to our projects. First, we have the record option. This is my favorite because you can use this to record your own sounds. Let me show you how. Click on the record and it will bring up a window to record. Sometimes it might ask your permission to use your computer's microphone, but if you're using it for the first time, that will happen. But if you've done it before, it won't probably ask. So let's click on the red button and you can start recording. And when you are done, you can click on stop recording. Hmm, what do we record? Okay, coding rocks. You can click on play to listen to your recording. Coding rocks. Coding rocks. You can edit your sound by moving the sliders to keep exactly what you want in your recording. If you are not satisfied, you can click re-record to start over. If you are good with your recording, click save and your recording will be saved and shown in the sounds tab right there. See recording one. Coding rocks. Okay. You can edit the name of the recording. I recommend always giving meaningful names so it helps you when you add code. There are a lot of options to edit the sounds. We added and we'll look at those details in the later videos. Let us now look at the next option, which is surprise option. When you click on this, you will get any random sound from the Sound Scratch library. Let us see what we will get today. We got, and you can see it's shown under the sounds library. E trombone. We got it. We got E trombone. And the final option is to upload your own sound from your computer. Let's say you have your own sound downloaded from the internet and you want to add it to your project. This is your option. So let's click on upload option and it will open a window to select your sound file from your computer. I already have a music file here and I'll upload that and click open and that will show up under our sounds. Nice! <laughs> different sounds available for our project which we can use in our code. So let's go to the code. Go to the sounds block and drag play sound until done to our code arena. And when you click on this drop down you will see all the sounds we just added. And they are available as 
options to select from. Let's say the music I have uploaded and try it out. That's cool, right? <laughs> friends coding rocks see I coding can, rocks i also play my recording coding rocks but if you want this to go forever you can just add the one green flag click and the forever loop around it just to make that go for a forever in this tutorial we look at all the different options to add sounds in our next video i will show the details of all the blocks in the sound section and how we can use the sounds in code and sounds make our programs definitely more fun. I hope you guys learned all the ways to add sounds. In our next video, we're going to learn how to edit the sound. It's going to be really cool. So, until then, keep coding.